Hi, we're Tomorrow Lab, an invention studio focused on new hardware technology for big brands, agencies, and startups. We create prototypes and then turn them into market-ready, manufacturable products. On Potentially Genius, we take a Potentially Genius idea and turn it into a Potentially Genius thing using components from DigiKey's massive library. All while giving you a peek into our four-phase invention process. In this episode of Potentially Genius, we're going to meet with Alessandro Ranalucci from Arduino. Alessandro introduced us to Arduino's Plug and Make Kit, a beginner-friendly DIY electronics kit aiming to make tech more accessible and fun for all. Well, hi Alessandro, how you doing? Hello, nice to be here, how are you? We call this thing the Plug and Make Kit because the idea is that you start from seeing what happens. So the final result, you have a gratification basically of seeing uh, uh, something moving in front of you and then you can go back to understand how it works. Uh, so what are the building blocks inside? We call them the modulino, rectangular nodes uh, that can be daisy chained, starting from an Arduino Uno R4, uh, which has a, a connector, a simple connector called Quick. Um, and to that connector, you can connect one node, but each node has a second port on the other side, so you can pick another wire and connect another node, and so on. Build a chain of components, and after you connect all, all of them, you are shown uh, on a digital platform how each node works and how you can easily combine multiple nodes to create an interaction between them. The, the challenge is to find uh, a cool project uh, that is in the space of uh, finding new new places uh, in our life uh, where we could put this uh, th this kit. I think there is a lot to explore. After speaking to Alessandro, we were challenged to create a unique application for the Arduino Plug and Make Kit that highlights the value of physical technology interfaces. He also posed a challenge to develop a new Modulino to integrate into the kit. We considered three ideas. A 3D printed dollhouse style smart home controller, a fold out cardboard subway status display, and a musical synthesizer keyboard. We loved how the synthesizer could combine all of the Modulinos by using capacitive materials, a capacitive breakout module, and repurposing the seven stock Modulinos, we can create musical inputs and outputs. In order to prototype for this device, we ordered our components from DigiKey. We are getting a MPR 121 capacitive touch breakout and an I2C NeoPixel driver. Now that we're settled on a keyboard synth, we're starting to think about how to actually build out this device. So this is the folded state. Now the handle flips down like this, and the whole thing stands up. Then you unclip this from the back. This is the standing position. So basically, you'll, you'll play the keyboard here in the front, like this. Um, and when you're done, you can just uh, fold it back up and uh, take it with you. What you're looking at here is the what's going to go on our PCB. We have a capacitive touch breakout and all of these are the keys. And these are the modulinos that came with the plug and make kit. Um, so what does this one do? This makes a sound. So, you know, the capacitive keys, you can touch it and it makes a sound. What do these buttons do? Right now I've coded them so that you, it can adjust octave. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then what's this last one do? The TOF sensor senses the distance between your hand and the sensor, and it adjusts the frequency of the keys. Cool. So I think we're going to make a PCB for this, and then once we make that design the PCB, we can put everything on there. We'll have more keys. Mm. and we can put the PCB you know, on a clean surface and make it look nice with the 3D printer. The first step in this assembly is to add a few heat set inserts. When we 3D print plastic parts, sometimes we want to be able to add screws, and uh, you can't 3D print screw threads very easily. So we have these brass threaded inserts. They have threads already in them, and with a hot soldering iron, you can just melt them into the plastic, sink them in, and then you have screw threads ready to go. From our sketches, we liked the idea of this folding frame that works as a kickstand. So this was the first version of that. Um, and it's okay, it, it works. It flips up like this. Um, the Arduino board sits in here and you can use it as a carry handle or flip it down like this for stowing. But it's a little bit flimsy. 
And when you fold it flat, it kind of has this like really skinny profile to it. This doesn't look very nice. So this chunkier form factor starts with the same kind of idea for a frame that holds the build plate that comes with the modulinos. Um, and this is gonna have heat set inserts throughout. Uh, so you can screw directly into this rather than having to fiddle with nuts on the back. Then we have the keyboard PCB itself. And this is a placeholder right now. We've ordered a custom board. This is a 3D printed block to represent it. But it goes in this printed frame, clips into the back with some magnets here, and then you can stash it for when you're uh, taking it with you. And you just pull it out like this. And we can assemble this handle to show you how that goes. To play it, you flip this up, stand it up, put the keyboard here, plug everything in, and we will have these extra modulinos up here for control. Screw it in here, and there's your synth. Just like that. So this was my first time to actually design a capacitive PCB. Um, it is somewhat different than a regular PCB design because of the grounding. As you can see in the design, normally you would have like an entire ground, but in this design actually something that, that we're trying to avoid. Another thing that will also interfere with the sensitivity is the tracing. So I'm trying to mi minimize all the in uh, overlapping for the br front and the back tracings. As you can see here, the kit itself has a really playful interface and the design is very fun. So I wanted to design something that's go along with it. We ended up making a lot of little funny silk screen on the back and the front to make the whole thing go along with the plug and make kit. Since we did that initial test build to put everything together, we've received a few parts. We have this nice keyboard PCB, custom made. Um, so now it's time to reassemble everything with final parts and all of the electronics included. This is mostly the same, but I've made one big decision, which is to move away from heat set inserts and use thread forming plastic screws. It just has fewer parts and it's gonna be easier to assemble. Um, but the handle's the same, and mostly we're just adding in all of the fun electronics. So we already integrated this one, which is the buzzer that makes the sound. And we had um, these buttons to change the octave up and down. Since then, I've also added this knob, which is controlling a vibrato effect. It controls the speed of vibrato, where the pitch warbles up and down. And this distance sensor, which you can use with your hand to control the depth of that effect. Um, so those are new features. I'm also trying to integrate this tilt sensor, um, or an IMU which we can use to bend the pitch back and forth by uh, just tilting this in a little 3D printed housing, which we'll see how well that works. And um, this is also a new one, some LEDs, and that will show the status of the pitch bend and any other effects we like. Meanwhile, on the code, I've also added some effects to the LED matrix on the front of this Arduino, which is a great little feature that lets you show graphics without any additional components just right on the Arduino itself. So now, Let's assemble it. Hey, welcome back, Alessandra. How have you been? Hello, hi, it's nice to be here again. So we've had a great time exploring the Arduino plug and make kit, um, and we're excited to share what we've made. This is the Arduino plug and make suitcase synthesizer. At the heart of it is the Uno R4 Wi-Fi connected to our monophonic buzzer. To play and produce tones, we have our custom-built capacitive keys powered by an NPR121 capacitive sensor. The three buttons are used to select different octaves. Clicking the knob turns on a vibrato effect, which can be altered by turning the knob and moving your hand closer or further from the distance sensor. A custom 3D printed spring platform turns the IMU, or tilt sensor, into a pitch bend stick. The LED light bar and built-in matrix display provide helpful visual feedback as we warp our sounds showing the names of notes and the strength of the vibrato and pitch bend. Taken together, we have a delightful synth you can play and alter with new modulators and changes in code, and fold up and take with you when you're done. That's neat. I, I want that. 
Oh, wow, well, you went much beyond uh, just an idea or a concept or a product. Uh, prototype. This is a product. <laughs> this is <a> shelf ready. <laughs> I think this is a fantastic example of how to use the very different modules in the same project in a meaningful way. All of them have a, have a true reason to be in the project. I, I had never seen a, an idea like this with even a handle and a, and a magnetic uh, connection with the, with the base. So I really like it. I definitely think this is potentially genius. And not because you invited me, not because we are here recording a show or something. I really, I'm really excited to see that clever idea. So guys, really, Paul, really <laughs> kudos to you. Well, genuinely, thank you so much. This was such a fun project. And if you have any new Arduino stuff, reach out to us or our friends at Digi Team. We'd love to prototype and build with them. Thank you for inviting me. I remember when we had our first brainstorming and it was already exciting. And now the result is really something I, I'm loving. So congratulations and let, let's see how you are going to inspire other makers. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to our friends at DigiKey. Please be sure to visit the DigiKey YouTube channel to see our past episodes.